Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Here we have the car set up all ready to take out these lower control arms. The faster I take out these arms, the faster I can get the bushings put in, and then I can move on to the other exciting things with the car. Now, as you see here, this was the main problem with these lower control arms. Almost every bolt was seized to the sleeve. So here's one example on the front outer where as I turn the bolt, because it's seized, it's just turning the rubber bushing with it and that rubber bushing is ripping out of the lower control arm. Now if this happens, you're gonna have to figure out a way how to remove this. Either I've heard some people cutting the bolt off with an angle grinder. Uh, to me that seemed pretty hard, just at the angle and the space that I had here. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if it's gonna work. Uh, on the back one, you might be able to get away with it, but when we get to that, we'll see. And the fork bolt should be fairly easy. I've removed that a couple times already. But as for now, you can see here, uh, we're gonna be working on this bolt first. Sorry in advance for the flickering of this light. I'm not sure why that was happening. But as you can see, I've got a C-clamp holding a pipe wrench. The pipe wrench is holding the sleeve the top nut for that bolt popped off the subframe. It's usually welded, but under so much pressure, it popped off. In this format right here, I'm able to remove that bolt. Now fast forward to the other side. We've got the same scenario going on again, where I've got a pipe wrench holding the sleeve and slowly removing this bolt again. This time, the nut hasn't popped off yet, so it should be easier, but We'll go from there and see how it turns out. And yeah, this side was definitely easier. The bolt is removed. Nope, I lied about that. Actually, the head broke off. And I used one of these grip sockets to remove the nut on the other side. I'm just going to cut that off with an angle grinder and this arm will be out. Here you see I've got both arms out. Of course, because one side ripped, I'm not even able to tell if it was good or bad. But it doesn't matter now, they're both getting replaced. There you see the bolt that I had to cut off and everything else came off pretty easy. Of course, those have been off multiple times while I changed the suspension. Since the parts were already removed from the car, I just had to give them a quick paint job. Uh, it's nothing special, I'm not trying to display these anywhere or anything. Here you see I have Brian turning into Firefly here to remove these old bushings out of the lower control arm. It works better this way if you just use fire to burn out the rubber and then use a hammer to take out that sleeve. With the new arms installed, you can see that the control arm does sit a lot better than it was before. It doesn't look like it's under the amount of tension that it had with the rubber bushings. Also note that it took about 20 minutes to put each side in, which is under an hour to get everything back in, whereas it took multiple hours to remove it. As you can see here, I did not put back in the end link to the sway bar. I figured since it's out, I might as well try a few laps first, see how that goes, and if need be, I can always put them back in. But now that this is all completed, I can move on to more exciting things like designing the life reef for my car and getting that put on. So yeah, thanks again for watching.